try some of the prochette. Whoa, that is a big hunk of meat. What am I supposed to do with that? All right, guys, what a crazy experience. I just ordered my lunch from DoorDash, which I've never used before, and my family did separate orders because we were ordering from separate restaurants. Their food arrived in like 15 minutes, super speedy. Of course, they did order from fast food places, but I ordered from a relatively new restaurant in Everett called Noodle Nation. I think they just opened up early last year, early 2019. Anyway, I've been wanting to try them for a long time, but I ordered my lunch at 11.30. I was supposed to get here at 12. It is now 1.40, it has just arrived. I don't know what happened, but it, the restaurant accepted my order and then it said it was preparing for like that full 30 minutes, that 30 minute window when the food was supposed to arrive. And then it, the app finally told me I needed to contact support. So I chatted with somebody online. They said, okay, we're gonna find a driver for you. I'm like seriously, why wasn't there a driver before? I don't understand. Anyway, then the driver sat at the restaurant for, I don't know, another 30 minutes. It said it was gonna take an additional 80 minutes for my food to arrive. And then 20 minutes before my food's supposed to arrive, the restaurant calls and says, hey, is this Katie? Uh, we just got your order three minutes ago. We're out of spinach. Can we substitute with something else? I can't even, I didn't even hear what they were saying. I was so mad. So we'll see what they substituted the spinach for. But this is probably the worst food delivery experience I've ever had. So let's hope that lunch is good. All right. So we've got what's called the Tokyo Drift. All right, we got lots of utensils and things in here. Oh, they gave me a drink. Wait, oh no, this is the pork broth. Never mind. It says pork on it. Don't drink it, Katie. Don't be an idiot. That makes sense. Okay, so this is the Tokyo Drift. This is how it comes. So we've got our noodles and all those good things, and then we've got this pork broth. Let's open it up. Okay, so not the greens aren't spinach, but it looks like collard greens to me. Looks delicious. Anyway, um, part of the reason I got this is because these balls right here are supposed to be scotch eggs. Although I think it says they're just filled with cheese, so that's not really a scotch egg. Um, we're gonna find out. Let's see, I'll read you the ingredients. So, Vietnamese porchetta, scotch egg 2.0, it says shh, cheese inside, so I guess it's cheese. Um, pickled daikon, wilted spinach salad, instead it looks like we have collard greens, that's fine, I like collard greens. Uh, crispy shallot truffle powder, beef broth, and thin wheat noodles. So we have pork broth, which is also not what it is, but it's fine. I don't have any dietary restrictions. If I did, that would be super annoying. Let's pour our broth on. Oop. Ooh, yeah. It is so pretty. I am very excited for this, I have to say. I think it's gonna be good. Ooh, it smells a little spicy. And I got kind of dressed up for you guys today. Wearing a dress and earrings. I've been scrubbing it lately, so since I can't leave my house, might as well get fancied up for you all. All right. Let's go in. I'm gonna try some of this daikon first. Love daikon, it's just a radish. Mmm, mmm. Oh gosh. I've only had one piece so far, but you can taste how flavorful the broth is just from pouring it all over everything. This may have been worth the two hour wait. All right, all right, fair enough, okay. Let's try some of the porchette. Whoa, that is a big hunk of meat. What am I supposed to do with that? I can't eat that like that. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That looks and tastes like pork belly, actually. I'm not sure what's going on with this, <laughs> but I'm okay with it. It tastes really good. Let's grab that, dip it in the broth. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is why I bought this. Let's see if I can do it without dripping. Am I gonna focus? I don't know. Maybe. Let's try it though. Hmm. Okay, so it has the layer of meat and the breading, like a traditional scotch egg. But yeah, it's um, it's just cheese in the middle. There's no egg. It's very deceiving. I'm all right with it though. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so flavorful. It's good too, because <clears throat> I think I'm gonna film a spicy challenge later today, so I need I need food. Mm. Mm hmm. All right, Noodle Nation. I approve. Mm. Oh yeah. It's just so good. <clears throat> I might be really hungry too. Mm. No, so Blake was really nice. He and Isabel actually ordered their lunch from McDonald's, which arrived like that. No spread there. And he got like 40 chicken nuggets or something. So he gave me chicken nuggets while I waited. It's just a neighbor dog, Curly. You're right. Mm. Don't growl. It's just Roscoe, stop. You're fine. We haven't even had any noodles yet. Hold on, let's see if I can get in there. Sorry, you're just gonna have to listen to Hurley really growl this whole time because our neighbor dog is outside. Hmm. And I don't know what, I don't know what Roscoe's barking about, but he's very excited about something. I know he's out there with, with his boys. So he's probably just protecting the little ones. Hurry, stop, please. Okay, there's some noodles. Mmm. It's kind of stuck. <clears throat> you know, because they were in a glob and there was no broth in here when they delivered it, which makes sense because you don't want everything to be a soggy mess. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, those are really good noodles. They're very thin, but they're soft. Mmm, mm-hmm. With a slight chewy, chewiness to them. I like that. I think if I remember correctly, they're whole wheat noodles. All right, I'm gonna go get a little bit of heat for this. Okay. Oh, so good.
Excellent. <laughs> they are loud today, those boys, huh? It is so comforting though, with everybody cooped up at home, I really like that the neighbor boys go out and play every day. I get to hear like joyous children sounds, right? It's a comforting sound. Hmm. <laughs> I am totally ordering from here again. I don't even care if it takes two hours. So, DoorDash, thank you for trying to fix whatever the heck was going on with my order. Noodle Nation, thank you for making me a good lunch. Yeah. Feeling, feeling gratitude right now. Particularly because I did not want McDonald's and Bishop ordered from Qdoba, which I like, but again, I am trying to support the local restaurants. No, it's still not detached. Let go. There you go. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's eat the other cheese ball thing. Ooh, this one's big. Mmm. Mm. It's like a little mozzarella stick dumpling almost with meat. <laughs> so Bishop, or not Bishop, <clears throat> Blake and Isabel were studying yesterday and they're downstairs in my office right now studying more today. But behind me, we have one of the coolest board games we've ever seen, but it's, um, yeah, that's right. Big Trouble in Little China. Classic movie turned board game. But it's a really expensive board game with a full novel of rules. So we've had it quite a while because Blake gets tired trying to figure out the rules every time. But since we're all at home, excuse me, he and Izzy figured that they would just study up and figure it out so they could explain it to Bishop and I. Wait a minute, I'm getting this. There we go. <laughs> Should be a lot of fun. We love playing board games together. Yeah, I definitely don't think this is porchetta. Unless, hold on, let's look. Is porchetta just a fancy word <clears throat> for pork belly? It could be. Porchetta. Porchetta is a savory, fatty, and moist, boneless pork roast. Okay, so no. I mean, I guess it could be like a slice of it, but... It's pork. Okay, whatever. Why would they do pork and then a beef broth? I mean, I realize this one's pork, but the actual menu says beef broth.
Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think we'll play this board game today. And then, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Whatever we want, I guess. Probably won't order out again for a while. I'm trying to limit that to like once a week, twice a week at the most. Am I gonna be able to tear this? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Oi. <clears throat> yeah, so this noodle nation place, it's this cute little almost hut in downtown Everett. And I think they only have like six different noodle dishes, but they're all really fun sounding. There's one with, I think, chili on it. Yep. Sorry I'm not all that talkative. <clears throat> I'm just really hungry. Hopefully you're having a good meal while you watch this. The nice thing about being home all the time <clears throat> is I get done with work typically around 5, 5.30. I'm working from home right now. And then I just go upstairs, zero commute, and I can just start cooking dinner for everyone, which I love. I know some people think cooking for their family is a chore. And for me it is if I'm strapped on time. But right now, it's just so nice to be able to make dinner for them every night. I made a pork roast last night, and I wasn't sure how I was gonna cook it at first, but I ate the last two dill pickles we had. And if you've never tried this, don't throw away your pickle juice. If you like pickles, if you like pickle juice, you can use that as a really tasty meat marinade. So I actually just put the roast in the crock pot for like seven hours with the pickle juice. Amazing. You might think, oh, that would be a really strong pickle flavor. It's not. It's just like the right amount. You can really taste the dill and the salt. It's very good. All right, <clears throat> I think it's broth time. So good. You can see the fat. It's a really oily broth. I'm sure, super good for me. Mm. Sorry. I'm sitting funny. Yum. a bunch of noodles stuck to the bottom. Come on. <clears throat> hmm. Somebody's on our steps. 
I wonder if it's Amazon. <laughs> Probably. I think Blake ordered something yesterday. I can't remember what though. It sounds like they keep walking up and down the steps. Tray Bazaar. I would totally get that again. All right, guys. I hope you're having a great day. I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I'll see you later.